The number of apples is two-fifth the number of pears in the basket. Six more pears are added to the basket, and the number of apples is two out of seven the number of pears. How many apples and pears were there in the basket at first? Now, when you do such questions, do not rush to say that, okay, let's make the denominators the same just because I see two fractions, all right? That shouldn't be the case, okay? Because when you read this question, notice that the, uh, the fraction here, actually, they indicate the units for each item. So what do I mean by that, all right? So if you observe, these two units is referring to apples first. This five is referring to the pairs. Same goes for the next fraction. Two units is apples, seven is pairs. Okay, so this is what you learned in one of the earlier lessons, how to recognize a sentence involving units when given a fraction. So if you proceed to make denominators the same, then you're telling me, say, that the pairs and the pairs here is the same. But is that true? All right, it is not true because I know there's a change in pairs. Six more pairs were added to the basket. All right, so it does not make sense to make 5 and 7 into 35 units because then you are really just telling me that the number of pairs should be the same throughout this whole thing. Okay, and that absolutely is not true. So how are we going to solve this question? So what we can do is we can use a before change after approach to record down the data first. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's start with the before. So apples and pears, we know each is two and five units respectively. So we're going to draw a model based on that information. To you, five units. This is my before information. Now, I have a change involved. So draw an arrow and your pairs, you know that there'll be six pairs added. Now, after that, I know that the apples is two units. The pairs is seven units. So again, you can draw a model to represent that information to you and seven you. This is your after data. Okay, so once you have recorded this nicely, the next thing to ask yourself is, is there anything that stays the same throughout this scenario? All right, from the before to the after. Is there anything that should remain the same? Don't just look at, say, oh, I see same units for apples, then that is the same. No, all right? That might not be true. So think about it, all right? How do I know? So how to know? Use the change to help you because the change is what determines the difference between the before and the after, all right? So I noticed that there's only a change in pairs. There is no change in apples. I did not bring new apples. I did not throw away apples, which also means that throughout the before to the after, my apples should remain the same. All right, so check and see how you can make adjustments to your apples model. Make sure the units for apples is the same for both the before and the after. Okay, so let's go on to that. So look at apples before. I see two units. Look at apples after. I also see two units. So just nice for this question, it's already the same. I do not have to go on to cut model, neither do I have to go on to make any adjustments. All right, so to you, to you, same, just nice. Okay, so we are lucky here. All right, so once you have established that, okay, apples model should stay the same throughout, then now you can go on to solve using the six pairs that were introduced previously. So to find out how many units is six pairs, you got to look at the before and after units. Pairs before, 5U. Pairs after, 7U. So from 5U, it grew to 7U because of 6 pairs that were introduced, which also means that the change of 2 units, 7U minus 5U, the change of 2 units is equivalent to the 6 pairs that you brought in. And of course, I can work out the value of 1 unit, which is 3. Once you have one unit, we read the final question. They ask you how many apples and pears at first. You want apples and pears, all the fruits at first. At first means look at your before. So at first, just count all the units that you see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven units at first. So go on to work out value of seven units. And that will be 21 fruits.